which is treated with sodium carbonate and the air to form what sodium chromate if you take potassium dichromate and if you heat it strongly what will happen it produces a three nascent oxygen so potassium dichromate as we have understood that it will be used as a oxidizing agent it is specially used in volumetric analysis hello my dear students a warm welcome you all my self is purnima lecturer in department of chemistry at vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore my dear students In our last discussion, we were dealing with the unit called D and F block elements. Under that, we have discussed about the oxidation state, magnetic property, the formation of colored compounds, and catalytic property, formation of interstitial compound, and also we have discussed about the alloy formation. So these are the different trends in the properties of the D and F block element. Today, let us move on to the next topic of this unit by understanding the the important preparations of D and F block compounds. Under that, we are going to understand the preparation of potassium dichromate. Okay. Then the physical property and chemical properties of potassium dichromate we are going to. understand and lastly we are going to understand about the uses of potassium dichromate when i am talking about potassium dichromate okay hope you all observed in your lab okay so potassium dichromate is one of the important inorganic salt is it right yes and the preparation is also very important and for the examination point of view it is very very important to know the the preparations of potassium dichromate always it will be asked for what three marks in this three marks you have to write the step wise preparations of potassium dichromate okay so once you write that balanced chemical equation in a three step by showing the potassium dichromate formation you know you will get a three marks that should be balanced okay if you don't balance that equation that equals to the not writing to any other chemical equation so always please practice the reaction with balancing okay so first we will see which are the step which is involved in preparation of potassium dichromate so there are three step will be there in the first step let's see what will happen in the first step chromite ore okay chromite ore which is nothing but a fe cr2o4 which is fused with sodium carbonate in presence of air to get sodium chromate to get what sodium chromate and sodium chromate will be extracted with the water and then it will be filtrated out so you can see the reaction i have considered the chromite ore which is nothing but a fe cr2o4 which is allowed to react with sodium carbonate and in presence of air which are containing oxygen when chromite ore reacts with sodium carbonate along with oxygen it forms what sodium chromate will be formed here the iron will be replaces with the sodium and forming a sodium carbonate and you can see that we have iron reacting with the oxygen and forming iron oxide and we have remaining carbon trioxide we have that will be released in the form of carbon dioxide gas okay this is the first step where chromite ore which is treated with sodium carbonate and the air to form what sodium chromate to form what sodium chromate with the formation of iron oxide and carbon dioxide here once you write that reaction please practice with balancing as i have told that so how many iron will be there on the left hand side you can see that four iron so it is 2 fe2 similarly the chromium that is cr2 you can see that we have cr and here 
the two will be octal and oxygen. So it is balanced on both the side by writing four oxygen. Here also you can see that two sodium and there are eight sodium will be there and you can see that how CR is also balanced along with oxygen. So this is a balanced chemical equation to show that sodium chromate will be formed from the chromate ore. Okay. In the second step, what will happen? In the second step, the yellow solution of sodium chromate is obtained is acidified with concentrated H2SO4 to get an orange color solution. That is known as what? Sodium dichromate. You can see that this is my sodium chromate allowed to react with the acid known as H2SO4. What will happen? It forms sodium bicarbonate with the formation of sodium sulfate along with the release of water. So what is the name of this compound? This is sodium by or you can write dichromate. This is sodium dichromate and what is this? This is sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate and with the release of water. Next, the sodium dichromate solution is concentrated then it will be cooled and less soluble sodium sulfate will be crystallizes out and it will be filtered off. This is how in the second step sodium carbonate is converted into sodium dicarbonate by reacting with sodium carbonate with H2SO4. We will see with the last reaction. In the above solution of sodium dichromate is now treated with HCl to form an orange crystal of potassium dichromate which is less soluble than the sodium chloride will be precipitated out. You can see that sodium bicarbonate allowed to react with KCl that is nothing but a potassium chloride. It forms what? K replaces with the sodium and forms a potassium dichromate with the formation of what? Sodium chloride. This is how each step you have to write if they ask you to write the preparation of potassium dichromate. So in all the steps you have to write what? Balanced chemical equation. And if you know that how to explain with your words, you can explain with your own words also. So what is the first step? So the first step indicates that you are taking the chromite ore which is allowed to react with what? Sodium carbonate. In presence of oxygen, it forms sodium carbonate. Sorry, sodium chromate. Okay. The sodium chromate again treated with an acid known as H2SO4. It forms what? Sodium dichromate. Okay. In the third step, you are taking that sodium dichromate allowed to react with the KCl to form potassium dichromate. So, this is a three step reaction where you are going to prepare potassium dichromate from the chromite ore. Already I told you that this preparation it is very very important for the examination point of view. Either potassium permanganate or potassium dichromate will be asked. Most of the time potassium dichromate will be asked for 3 marks. Okay. Hope you all understood with this preparation. Now let us see the physical properties of the Potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate is an orange red crystalline compound and it is moderately soluble in cold water but freely soluble in hot water. Okay. So as that indicates that potassium dichromate is a crystal. Okay. And it is a solid which is a orange red crystalline solid and it will be what? It will be soluble in cold water but freely soluble in hot water. Now let us discuss the chemical properties of what? Potassium dichromate. First we will see how does this reactions will be taking place with the heat. 
on heating strongly it decomposes by liberating what oxygen if you take potassium dichromate and if you heat it strongly what will happen it produces a three nascent oxygen this indicates that upon heating potassium dichromate undergo decomposition and produces a nascent oxygen next the interconversion of chromates and dichromates the chromate and dichromates are interconvertible in aqueous solution depending upon the ph of the solution on heating with alkali you know it is converted into chromate and the color will be changes from orange to yellow you can see that this is a chromate which is allowed to react with the base that is oh what will happen it get converted into what chromate it forms what the here dichromate is converted into what chromate so always remember this is dichromate which is in a orange color when it is react with the base it converted into chromate which is converted into chromate and it is a yellow solution this indicates that when you are taking the dichromate when it is treated with the base it get converted into what chromate okay along with the release of water molecule now okay i'll take the chromate if i allow to react with the acid what does it forms it forms what dichromate it forms what dichromate this is chromate when it is reacting with the acid you know it forms what dichromate it forms what dichromate what else is the dichromate when it is reacting with the base forms? It forms what? Chromate. So this indicates that both chromate and dichromates are interconversible. They are interconvertible, we can say that. So what does it indicate? Remember when you take the dichromate, allow to react with what? Bases, it forms chromate. Similarly, if you take chromate and react with the acid, it becomes dichromate. Okay? And it also act like a powerful oxidizing agent. So let's see how does potassium dichromate will also act like a powerful oxidizing agent. It acts as a powerful oxidizing agent in acidic medium. That is in presence of dilute HCLSO4, it oxidizing action is due to the following reaction. Here I have to consider the dichromate which is allowed to react with the acid, what does it form? It forms a Cr3 plus with the formation of water. This indicates that the potassium dichromate is a powerful oxidizing agent. Suppose if you take acidified potassium dichromate, it oxidizes the iodide to the iodine. Here you can see that I have considered the dichromate ore I have considered which is allowed to react with the acid. What does it form? It forms what? Cr3 plus with the formation of water. As I have said that it will be also oxidizes the iodide to the iodine. I have considered the iodide so it will be get converted into iodine. Now if you represent overall cell reaction okay what will happen you can see that cr2 o72 minus 14h plus plus 6i because the 6 electron and 6 electron will be get cancelled here which gives to the 3i2 plus 2cr3 plus plus 7h2 so this is a overall reactions which i have written so this indicates that the acidified potassium dichromate oxidizes the iodide to the iodine. So you can see that the one more example for that potassium dichromate reacting with acid. So it oxidizes what? It oxidizes the iodide to the iodine. You can see that potassium dichromate is converted into potassium sulfate and dichromate sulfate will be formed with the formation of iodine as well as with the water molecule.
So let's see with a few other examples also. The acidic finds potassium dichromate can also oxidize the iron 2 to iron 3 plus salt. Let's take a example of dichromate which is allowed to react with the acid. What does it forms? It forms a Cr3 plus okay with the formation of water. As I have said that it oxidizes the iron from plus 2 state to the plus 3 state. Now you can write the overall cell reaction Cr2 O7 2 minus 14 H plus 6 electron and 6 electron will be get cancelled out to give 6 Fe2 plus here is 2 6 Fe3 plus plus 2 Cr3 plus plus 7 H2O. This indicates that the iron from plus 2 oxidation state is get oxidizes to plus 3 oxidation state. Okay. So example you can say the K2Cr2O7 that is potassium dichromate reacting with acid with the FeSO4. What does it happen? Potassium combines with the sulfate and forms a potassium sulfate and dichromate sulfate along with the formation of what? Iron sulfate and with the formation of water. This indicates that the iron from the plus 2 oxidation state it has been get oxidized to plus 3 oxidation state. So, we have one more reaction. It oxidizes the hydrogen sulfide to the pale yellow precipitate of sulfur. So, I have considered the dichromate allowed to react with the acid. It forms what? It oxidizes the chromate to the plus 2 to the plus 3 state with the formation of water molecule. I have considered hydrogen sulfide which is get oxidized to what? Sulfur. Now, if you write the entire reaction where 6 electrons and 6 electrons will be get cancelled out, Cr2 O7 2 minus and H plus plus 3 H2O given as to 3 S plus this is a precipitate. Okay, the sulfur will be get precipitated out with the formation of 2 Cr3 plus with the formation of what water molecule. This indicates that this hydrogen sulfide is get oxidizes to sulfur. So, the sulfur will be obtained in the form of what? Precipitate which is the yellow in color. We have the example for this potassium dichromate reacting with H2SO4 as well as with the H2S gas. What does it happen? It forms what? Potassium sulfate with the dichromate sulfate along with the formation of water and also you can see that sulfur will be what? Precipitated out. We have a last reaction, okay. It oxidizes stannous to salts to the stannous for salts. So, I have considered the dichromate allowed to react with acid. It forms what? 2 Cr3 plus with the formation of water. You can see that the stannous 2 plus will be get converted into stannous 4 plus. This indicates that the Sn from plus 2 oxidation state is converted into plus 4 oxidation state. So, you can write the overall reaction by cancelling the 6 electron. You can see that Cr2O7 2 minus then 14 H plus plus 3 SN2 plus which gives to 3 SN4 plus plus 2 Cr3 plus 7 water molecule. This is how we can easily understand that potassium dichromate it act like a very good oxidizing age. Okay. So, you can see that the structure of chromate as well as with a dichromate. So, already I have explained that in case of chromate which consists of one chromium atom surrounded by four oxygen atom and you can see that it has two negative charge. Similarly, you can see that and the structure will be tetrahydral. If you look into the dichromate ion, you can see that it has 2 Cr that is 2 chromium atoms will be there surrounded by 3 oxygen atom ok. But you can see that the middle oxygen atom which has been shared between the 2 chromium atom and which having what 2 negative charges ok. This is how we can easily remember with the structure of chromate as well as with the dichromate. Next we have the uses of potassium dichromate. 
So potassium dichromate as we have understood that it will be used as a oxidizing agent. It is specially used in volumetric analysis. Okay. Not only we are using as an oxidizing agent, it is also used in modern dyes, leather industry as well as in the photography for hardening of film and it is also used in chromite chloride test and it is used in cleaning of glass vessels. These are the important uses of what potassium dichromate. Okay. So by the next class, we are going to understand more about the potassium paramanganate preparation. Okay. By this, I like to say that Today I have dealt with only the preparation of potassium dichromate and their physical and chemical property as well as with the uses. So for the examination point of view, please look and with the preparation. For the competitive examination point of view as well as for your CET, please have a look for oxidizing nature of the potassium dichromate. So we will meet you in the next session. Till that, take care, be safe. Thank you.